Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and I'm back today to show you Tier 3 energy. Uh, my last video showed you Tier 2 energy, and I kind of left most of that system up. Uh, specifically, I left up my MFE unit here, which is uh, up to about 200,000 units of power. So let's go ahead and craft some of the Tier 3 energy devices. Um, first off, we're going to need a good handful more of those energy crystals. So why don't I just make about 16 of them. I'll just do a handful for now. That should be good. Okay. To turn an energy crystal into the tier 3 equivalent, we're going to need some lapis lazuli. Six of those. We're also going to need a pair of electronic circuits, which you saw me craft in my last video. That'll give us a lapitron crystal. Lapitron crystals are capable of storing 1 million energy units. So that is about 10 times as much as the energy crystal, which can store 100,000. The next unit we're going to build is the upgrade of the MFE, which is called an MFSU. In order to do that, we're going to need six of these Lapitron crystals, so I'm going to build them real quick. There we go. We're also going to need an advanced machine block, which is uh, something that's a little bit complicated to make. Not terribly so. You're going to want to look up on the wiki how to make those. Uh, we're also going to need an advanced circuit. Uh, advanced circuits are created with, again, lapis lazuli, some glowstone, and some redstone. And the final component in this is an MFE. That's right, you have to take one existing MFE and go ahead and use it to make the MFSU. So why not craft one of those real quick? Or, just to make things easier, I'll give myself some. So, MFE. Advanced Machine Block, and Advanced Circuit. Now, if you remember, the MFE requires four crystals, and we're now using six in order to craft this device. So, that's a grand total of ten diamonds to create the MFSU. However, it's most definitely worth it. The MFSU, just like all other items that store energy, has an output face and five input faces. And it's capable of storing ten million so this is a very powerful device, and it outputs high voltage at a rate of 512 energy units per tick. <coughs> so just like the issue with the medium voltage output, of course it can accept medium, it can also accept high voltage. We need to scale down our voltage in order to um, use it on most of our machines. Most machines in the game will only accept low voltage and some medium. There's one or two very few machines that accept high voltage input. Luckily, the crafting recipe for a medium voltage transformer is pretty easy. It's a machine block with two pieces of cable on top and bottom. MV transformer. Very similar to the LV transformer that you saw me create before, but this converts high voltage current to medium voltage current. Finally, the Tier 3 wiring is glass fiber cable. It does use a diamond in the recipe, some redstone and some glass to create six glass fiber cables. But the great thing about glass fiber cable is that it doesn't have much energy loss over quite a distance. Glass fiber cable is capable of losing only one EU for every 20 blocks so you can create some pretty long distance cables without having to worry too much about energy loss. And there's no insulation required. So we can place down our glass fiber. And we're going to put down a medium voltage transformer. Again, the three side is where the high current comes in, and the single dot side is where medium voltage comes out. And if we were to use a uh, redstone signal here, it would reverse that. We can then send using gold cable or higher to go to a low voltage transformer. Why don't I just go ahead and get one of those? And the good thing about fiber cable, or any cable for that matter, is that higher currents can travel through higher cables, but lower currents can too. So it's not a problem to use glass fiber cable everywhere if you have a surplus of diamonds. Um, otherwise, you're going to want to use the cheapest cable. 
pretty much use whatever you feel comfortable using. And then we can run the glass cable here again, and we can power any machine. Let's say a compressor again. Or an extractor. Whatever we want. And that's pretty much tier 3 energy. Um, the Lapatron crystal, as mentioned, can store 1 million units of power. So right now we've only got about almost 300,000 is what we had in there. So if we were to dump this MFSU's energy all the way into this Lapatron crystal, it would only fill about a third of the way, which you'll see now. So that only filled about a third of the way. A fully charged Lapatron crystal, as mentioned, can store up to 1 million units of power. So once this guy fills up, it'll fill up this MFSU about one tenth. So you can see high voltage and the tier 3 power is pretty consistent with all the other power supplies and the way things work. You're going to need a medium voltage transformer to a low voltage transformer to power your basic machines. And that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial, and I will catch you all later.